Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. <clears throat> this is Jess from Capella Wellness, here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who have never been here before, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who are returning, thank you again for rejoining me for another Twin Flame reading. Okay, before we get into it, I do want to mention that there will be an extended for this reading, and the link for that will be in the description box below, okay? So let's get started. Spirit, guides, angels, what do we have for the current energies, overall energies in the Twin Flame connection for this collective? Please and thank you for the week of April 19th to April 25th, 2021. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Here we go. That was fast. Okay. <clears throat> We have healing, fresh start, and new direction. Wow, this is really good. Okay, this is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm kind of guessing that this would be a short reading because what's going on for this collective that I am channeling? Again, this is general. The healing has been completed for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. This is freaking awesome, guys. Which is going to lead to a fresh start. For the both of you, this fresh start is coming. If you are in doubt, don't doubt it. You still have to hold the vision and trust the process because you guys are about to move into a new direction. Look at the sunlight here. And she's barely wearing any clothes, so that tells me she, well, both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine have left everything behind. And it's kind of like when you're reborn, right? Babies are born and we come into the world naked, completely nude. And that means we are vulnerable. We are starting anew and we are ready to begin a new life and kind of learn things again, I guess I would say. Um... This is really awesome because a lot of work has gone into this. A lot of work has gone into this connection on both ends. For those of you who have been part of this, you already know that this has been an arduous journey for the both of you, for both the masculine and the feminine. And I have to say congratulations to you guys who have done the hard work congratulations because you have accomplished something quite phenomenal your chakras are balanced and here's more sunlight right here you guys are really in tune with the divine you guys are in full alignment with the divine with each other and within yourselves and when you're in full alignment and you are vibrating at the violet flame level this is where the fresh start comes in, where union comes in, okay? So this also tells me that once you come back together in physical sacred union, you will continue to heal. And like I said, fresh start, you will start anew. You will go in and you will be vulnerable with each other, hence the... Um, Symbolism for her, she's almost naked, but of course, because of this card, I guess, she has a little um, cloth around her um, backside. So you guys are going into the light together to finish your healing together and to start your joint mission. This is freaking awesome. And then at the bottom of the deck is winter. This is telling me that the deep freeze is over. And for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we just completed the winter season, right? And fresh start, rebirth, regrowth, new growth, new beginnings. Everything's starting to bloom for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere right now. Springtime, regardless, you know, during the springtime, that always means regrowth, rebirth, new things begin. And... We just came out of this. These are harsh conditions. Winter is very cold. It's frigid. 
we don't want to do anything. It's for a lot of us, it's one of the seasons where it just changes things and we become, in some cases, frozen. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm thinking of the Frozen movie right now. Um, anyway, randomness. For this, I know for me, I don't really like the winter because I live in a place now where it snows and things like that. But there's always a reason for this because with every winter comes a spring. And it's like that with the cycles. And winter is the last season. And after that ends, spring comes, the birds start singing, they start coming back, the trees start blooming their flowers. Um, a lot of the animals, their um, babies hatch. It's, it's a wonderful time and this is telling me that this is over. You, have, you guys have overcome the harsh conditions in this connection. Oh, look at this, at the, right underneath the winter card at the bottom of the deck is an offer. It's coming, be patient. This offer is coming. And it's also an offer of a new beginning in general, not just necessarily from the masculine. Um, this is an offer from the divine I'm getting for the both of you to start anew because both of you have been through quite a lot and it's time to move in that new direction. So this is really, really great. This is exciting. Um, I'm going to clarify it anyway, just to see. I don't think we need to clarify those energies because those are super positive energies. Um, but we're going to do it anyway, right? Um, Spirit Guides, Angels, Galactic Family, Pleiadian Sirius. Please reveal to me for our highest good. What else can you tell us about the fresh start, the new direction, and the healing, please? Can you please be, give us clarity on those energies? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Let me move this over here real quick. Okay. Can you please clarify the fresh start, the new direction, and the healing for us, please? It'd be awesome if the sun would come out. The sun card. Um, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, well, there's the full. Ah, uh, look at this. The full and the night. Nine of wands. Yeah. After the long journey, the long battle, you guys are tired. It has been a very long journey for a lot of you. And now is the time to get ready to drop those wands. You're so close to the 10. 10 is completion. The 10 of wands, it's like this is the end. Just keep going. Keep going because you are so very, very close. Okay, guys? Keep going, just push through. You're almost at the finish line. This is being activated. The universe is starting to activate this new beginning, which is why I said the offers coming in, not just from the divine masculine, but from the divine itself. They are starting to activate that new beginning, that fresh start so that you guys can finally go in a new direction and you to fulfill your mission together. Um, yeah, this is telling me because you've completed the journey. That whole twin flame cycle, that whole twin flame journey has been completed. The healing has been done. It's time to start anew and you guys are now going to go in like I talked about with the new beginning card, the new direction card, I should say. Starting anew, starting fresh, starting completely over as though you've been reborn. But this time you're going to go into your new journey with uh, fearlessness. You know now that as long as you are in alignment with source, God, the divine, however you um, 
whatever you believe in, that it's always going to put you in the right place. It's going to give you that freedom. It's going to give you um, that new beginning in which you've always wanted where you will go into things now without fear, without questioning things so much, understanding the ebb and flow of life, understanding that things happen for a reason and that God knows exactly what is right for you. And now you will go into this new direction, this new life with complete rejuvenation and renewal. And it's going to feel so grand and exhilarating and free. And I'm feeling really light right now because like in this picture, it's like you feel like you can just take off. You can do fly and do anything, right? No worries whatsoever anymore because you have done the hard work and now it's time to go forward. It's time to start a new journey. But now the things of the past are no longer going to occur and you won't get triggered by them. At least you shouldn't. Of course that wants to fall. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is really good stuff, guys. Um, and look what's at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning. It's time to start this new beginning. The karmic cycles have ended. The lessons have been learned. Fortune will come to you. Luck will come to you. The karmic cycles have been completed for both the masculine and the feminine. I can't say congratulations enough. This is, this is really great. <laughs> Again, I am channeling a particular collective. So if you feel in your heart that you're just not there yet, it's okay because it's part of the journey. Everyone is at a different part of their journeys. But for the collective that I am channeling right now, you guys have completed the work. You have passed the tests. And now it's time to start your new beginning, your new glorious life. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what the romance angels have to say. What do the romance angels have to say, Spirit, for this Twin Flame Collective? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What else do you have, us, uh, have for us, Spirit, for this Twin Flame Collective? Please reveal to us what we need to know for our highest good. Please and thank you. What do the romance angels want to say? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I knew the engagement card was going to come out. I knew it. <laughs> See? See the confirmation there? Like, you can't make this up. Engagement and express your love. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Like I said, with the vulnerability and that new direction card, with her being practically naked, you guys are going to be vulnerable now and you won't be triggered and you're going to express. It's not just your love to each other. You guys are going to express everything that has gone on in both your journeys. Your bond is going to deepen you are going to be even more connected than you are already. And the, the fact that you are that strongly connected in the 5D is, it's going to, it'll be augmented. It'll strengthen that 5D bond too, because that is really the big thing in this relationship, this connection, where you want that spiritual connection with somebody and the physical part of it doesn't have a huge role in this. So while both of you will be expressing, and I'm pretty sure for most of the feminines, you've already expressed your love to your masculines. That's usually the case. The masculine will express his love. But aside from that, what I'm getting strongly here is 
you guys are going to be more engaged with each other. This yes, it could mean that you will get proposed to and it will move to engagement, which will lead to marriage for this um, connection. But what I'm also really getting is that you'll become even more engaged with you with each other. It says here, ascending to a higher level of commitment. You guys are going to ascend to even a more higher level than you already are in the 5D. Yes, it'll happen in the physical, but this level is really going to increase tremendously. And when you guys have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and you express not only more of the love for your, each other, but you become very vulnerable where you were no longer triggered, will nobody will run away, no one will chase again, and you will be able to better communicate with each other in the 3D, because you've already should be, you should already be communicating in the 5D for a lot of you. But now with this, this is going to boost the bond between you two. I'm really feeling it so strongly. Like I'm at my temperature is going up because there's like a lot of passion here and a lot of love in the connection. And you have to remember that it's okay to be vulnerable, to express your love. It's okay now to just have that sit down and lay everything out on the table, okay? And this new beginning will bring this engagement, this new level of commitment for the both of you. So this is, wow, this is a really, really awesome reading. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. Um, what I'm getting here is, it looks like you're going to have a lot of people who are really going to be, um, happy for you. And if you are still having a little bit of doubt about this new beginning, because I could see, I can see right now that for a lot of you, because it's been so long and for most of you, you haven't been communicating with your masculines for a very long time and the nerves are going to kick in, right? So don't let that get to you. Um, if you're still, you know, trying to deal with um, not being sure whether this is going to happen or not, this is telling me that you should just continue to engage with your friends, talk to them, um, get your mind off of things because this is coming in. It does sound a little bit too good to be true in a sense, but when the cards come out like that, I mean, you saw the shuffling and then the engagement card comes out. Fresh start healing and a new direction. You can't get any better than that, right? So continue to have fun. Continue to do your healing, to focus on your mission. And if you do need support still, because this is, um, been tough because the nine of wands did come out to clarify the um, overall energy cards keep going your friends will help you to keep going I'm getting for a lot of you you have like one or two people who know about this connection and they're actually supporting you in this make sure that you surround yourself with positive people especially if you're going around on YouTube watching other readers and stuff and um, you might come across something that is uh, counterintuitive or it's something that is not uh, resonating with you or telling you that this connection is not going, this reunion is not going to happen. Don't listen to that. Trust your gut. Don't focus so much on the outside world to confirm things um, or to scare you. Make sure that you continue to communicate with your friends and enjoy life. Continue to enjoy life and just wait for divine timing. Wait for things to finalize because it is at the door, okay? If somebody knocks on your door right now, can you please leave a comment? <laughs> 
that would be something, wouldn't it? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get guidance for the masculine and guidance from for the feminine with the Starry Beginnings Oracle cards, okay? I'm not sure if we really need any more guidance other than to hold the vision and trust the process to continue to ascend on your own, to continue to stay in the light. I mean, keep vibing high, guys. This is some amazing stuff right here. You guys should be very, very excited. I am very, very excited. All right, let's see the guidance we have for the masculine, please. And thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Okay. Yeah, this makes total sense. Guidance for the masculine. Number 41, which breaks down to a five, which is change. Five uh, is symbolic of change. It is safe to let go, masculine. You are surrounded by love. Love is always around you, divine masculine, always. And now that you understand this, it is safe for you to be vulnerable. It is safe for you to tell the truth. It is safe for you to express your love. It is safe for you to go into the new world now as the fool without fear, without reservation, without um, cowardness. It is safe for you now to embark on this journey knowing that the hurt that you have experienced in the past is not going to happen again. You've ascended. You have completed union with self. You understand what this journey is now to you, to your divine feminine and your relationship with source, God, universe, however you want to call it, okay? Masculines, any masculines are watching this, you guys are ready. Yep, spirit is, I'm seeing a whole bunch of angels and my guys jumping up and down right now. They are so excited because for the masculines, this has been incredibly tough and they have overcome so many things. They know that they're always going to be surrounded by love no matter what they do, as long as they are. Here's more light here. As long as they are directly connected to source, they are following the light and they always have the light in their hearts. That is awesome. And then the bottom of the deck for the masculines. Time to move on. Flow with the river. See where it takes you. Yep. And look, it's 42. 41 and 42 progression. It's time to go, masculines. Time to take that uh, sack on the Ace of Wands <laughs> and take that leap of faith. It's time to start your new journey. It's time to go, leave the past behind. That is awesome. All right, what do we have for the feminines? What guidance do you have for the feminines? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, what guidance do we have for the feminines? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. There you go. Okay, feminines. It's the first card in this deck. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. This is the energy that you have to continue to maintain because your thoughts create your reality. What you give to the world is what gives back to you, right? I think a lot of us know now in this journey, um, the law of attraction. If we are vibrating at a high level and we are in tune with what we want and with our truth, 
it creates the life around us. When we are vibrating at that violet flame level and we are completely in alignment with ourselves and with source, that emanates back out to the universe. And as you've already seen in your journey, for most of you, if not all of you, your life has changed, has it not? Because life is an expression of you. You are a spiritual being in a human body. I'm sure you've heard that a lot, but it's very true. And there's so much more to than just being here in the day to day and the nine to five, right? A lot of you have learned a lot about what real life is, what spirituality, um, how spirituality really enhances your life and how you make the most of everything. That things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So continue to be an expression of love, to be an expression of light, because that has been your role for the majority of you feminines in this journey, to be that beacon of light and hope for your masculines. And doing so changed your life. It changed your masculine's life. And you've both ascended. You're both vibrating at that level that you need to be at to manifest union. And your lives have completely changed. You know there is more to life than just being in a romantic relationship with your masculine. Than just being in a romantic relationship, period than just, you know, going through the motions. It's so much more and you guys have achieved that. So congratulations to you feminines and to the masculines. The bottom of the deck, breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Continue to do your spiritual practice. Oh, there's glare in there. You can see the camera thing. Sorry about that. Anyway, continue to breathe, okay? Remind yourself to breathe. I was saying earlier that some of you might be a little bit nervous or a little bit weary because you know it's coming, but you're still a little doubtful. It's okay. Continue to ask your angels and your guides for help. Ask them to clear away the fear, the anxieties. Ask them to continue to give you the signs or to give you those dreams. Continue to do your breath work. Um, I'm getting right now, if your masculine all of a sudden contacts you or calls you or shows up at your door, breathe. <laughs> Don't freak out too much. I know like for me, it's like, uh, I'm not sure exactly how it'll happen because we're not really supposed to know what will happen, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to be mindful of my own breath work when my masculine comes in. But um, just remember to continue to live your life and continue to have that love. Breathe love in, breathe love out, because life is an expression of you. Life really is all about how we love, how we give, how we unconditionally love all things, all people. Continue to breathe this into your life and your life will grow. It will become even more beautiful, even more expansive. It will change people. It will change other lives. And this is also what you're called here to do, to breathe that unconditional love into your own life so that when you exhale, other people will pick up on that love. They will breathe it in. It's the same thing with your masculine. That's why this is so important. Then again, if this is something pertaining to whether you're still having anxiety, anxieties or whatever, continue to do your spiritual practice. Continue to breathe, to meditate, and continue to act with love in all things. All right. That is all I have for you guys for this week. Okay. Again, the extended is in the link in the box below. Thank you so much for being here and for liking this video, for illuminating the thumbs up icon, as I usually say. Um, 
I wish you all the best today and always. I wish you a wonderful week. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starting out.